Acrobat DC on your mobile device lets you work with your PDFs even when you're not at your desk. There's plenty you can do with the free version of Acrobat DC for mobile devices, such as view, read, and comment on PDFs. If you have a subscription to Acrobat DC and you're signed into it, you can do even more on your mobile device, like create, edit, and export your PDFs. You can download the Acrobat DC mobile app for free from the iTunes App Store for iPhone or iPad or in the Google Play Store for Android. Or if you're logged in to Adobe Document Cloud, you can download the apps from there. Once Acrobat DC loads on your mobile device, you can tap here to find your files, tap here to access tools you wish to use with your documents, and tap here to go back to the main interface. You can find files stored in several locations, on your local device, in Adobe Document Cloud, or your recent files. Since I'm working on materials for a car rental company called Point to Point, I'm going to open a letter that we'll send to our customers. Anyone who downloads Acrobat DC for mobile can read and comment on PDF files, even without an Acrobat DC subscription. With the free version, I can use the Viewer tool and I can change the way I view the document. By tapping the icon in the lower left, you can see that I have viewing options such as continuous, single page, and night mode. Also, I can perform a text-based search within the PDF file. All I have to do is tap the magnifying glass icon to enter the word I want to search for. In this case, I'll search for the word promotions. Once you tap search, the results will be highlighted. Adding comments couldn't be easier even if you're using the free version of the app. I'll tap the icon in the upper left to access the menu and tap the comment tool. Down towards the bottom, I'll tap the caption icon to add a note. Next, I'll tap where in the document I want to add the note. I'll go ahead and tap here. Then I'll type the comment. In this case, I want to leave a note for my colleague Anne, asking her to add a call to action. If I want to send the commented PDF to my colleague, I can do that by tapping the icon in the lower right, and then I can select Share from the menu. Next, I'll select Share Original Document, which will allow the person I'm sharing the document with to continue commenting and editing. When I sign in with my Acrobat DC subscription, I can access everything I just showed you, plus additional features for PDFs, such as creating, editing, and exporting them. I'm now signed in with my Adobe ID so I can access these extra features included with my Adobe Document Cloud subscription. For instance, I can create a PDF from a Microsoft PowerPoint file. Notice that the file size is currently 4.5 megabytes. I'll open it in Acrobat and create a PDF from it. To do that, I'll access the Create PDF tool. Once the conversion is complete, I can view the converted PDF file in Document Cloud. Notice that the file size went from 4.5 megabytes to 257K because Acrobat optimizes the file size during conversion. Since I'm still signed in with my subscription, I can also edit the PDF by accessing the Edit PDF tool. With the converted PDF file open, I notice on slide 4 there's a typo. Opportunities is missing an S. To fix this, tap on the text box to select it. A tooltip will appear with some options, but in this case, I'm simply going to tap a second time within the text box to get an insertion point. All I have to do now is type in S to fix the typo. You can also add text in the same way, and when you do, notice that the text automatically reflows. Additionally, because I am still signed in, I can also move pages using the Organize Pages tool. I have the ability to rotate them and delete them altogether. When I'm done, I can export the PDF into one of these formats as needed. As you can see, no matter where you are, you can use Acrobat DC on your tablet or smartphone to get your work done.